the gradient function of a curve is ax plus b. So we know that gradient function is dy over dx is equal to ax plus b. The gradient of the curve at negative 2, 8 is negative 7. So we see here is given that at point negative 2, 8, dy over dx is equal to negative 7. And the gradient of the curve and at 0, 6, dy over dx is equal to 5. Find the value of a and b, then find the equation of the curve. So we see here, so this is the first one and this is the second one. So we see here, this pair we get this one, this pair we get this one. So we have dy over dx, right? So we can substitute. So dy over, when x is equal to negative 2, dy over dx is equal to negative 7. So this is x, this is y. So here dy over dx negative 7 is equal to a x is negative 2 plus b, right? So, negative 2a plus b is equal to negative 7. So, for the second one, we see here, this one dy over dx is equal to 5 is equal to, so we don't know, a, x is equal to 0 plus b, so we get b is equal to 5. So, this one is 3 and this one is 4. So we know b is equal to 5. So here we have negative 2a plus b is equal to negative 7. b is equal to 5. So negative 2a plus 5 is equal to negative 7. So negative 2a is equal to, we bring this one to the right, we get negative 7 minus 5 is negative 12. a is equal to negative 12 divided by negative 2 which is equal to so here A is equal to 6 and B is equal to 5. So here we have dy over dx is equal to, before this, ax plus b, right? So we know that A is equal to 6, so we have 6x and B is equal to 5. So equation of the curve, y is equal to integration of 6x plus 5. Dx. So, to integrate, y is equal to, so we add power and divide it by power. So, here we can take out 6. So, we have x here, which is x power of 1. So, here we get x, 1 plus 1 is 2, divided by 2, plus 5. So, we see here just a constant, we add x, and then don't forget to add c. So here we get 6 divided by 2, we get 3. So we get 3x squared plus 5x plus c. So we see here we have two equations, negative 2, 8 and 0, 6. You can choose either of this one uh, and substitute inside the equation that we have here to get c. So we see here we can use this one, but I wanted to use this one because you can see here the value is 0. So, it is easier when we substitute lah. So, this one is 6 is y. So, y is equal to, this one is 3, 0 square plus 5, 0 plus c. So, we can see that c is equal to 6. So, here y is equal to, <coughs> so here y is equal to 3x square plus 5x plus 6. So, this is the equation of the Doi. Eight. The diagram on the right shows a car being driven on a straight road. It is given that the rate of change of the displacement. So we see here. So rate of change. So we know that displacement is s, and rate of change of displacement is ds over dt is equal to tan t minus two. And S is equal to 8 when T is equal to 1. So, this is almost the same what we have in coordinate, right? So, we have this pair. Okay. 
So, right. Find the displacement in M when T is equal to 3. So, find S when T is equal to 3. So, we need to have the equation first before we can get S. So, we see here this one, this S, DS over DT is this one. So, we know that S is equal to integration of 10T minus 2 DT. So, you see here, we are going to integrate in term of T. So, S is equal to, so here we have 10T, right? So, this is 10. T is equal to T power of 1. So, we add 1 plus 1, we get T square. So, here T square. And then, we divide it with the power we just added. Minus 2. So, 2 we add T at the back. After we finish everything, we must add up a constant. So, here we get 5. So, this one is 5T square minus 2T plus C. Okay. So, here we have this equation, right? <clears throat> but then the equation to find the displacement, we, don't, uh, we only need to have one unknown. So, when we, need, when we have T, we should have what is S and what is T. But we have this curve here. When we substitute this one inside this one, we can get what is our T. And S is equal to A. T is equal to 1. So, 5, 1 square minus 2, 1 plus C. 8 is equal to 5 minus 2 is 3 plus C. So, we can see that C is equal to. So, we bring 3 to the left. We get 8 minus 3 which is equal to 5. So, now we have the equation here. So, this one. S is equal to 5T square minus 2T. And C is equal to plus 5. So, since we have the equation S is equal to 5T square minus 2T plus 5, you see here. So, uh, if, uh, so, when we know the T, we can find what is our S. So, S is equal to 5T is 3 square minus 2, 3 plus 5. So, here, 5, 9 minus 6 plus 5. So this one is 45, negative 6 plus 5 is minus 1, so we get 44. So S displacement is in meter. So when T is equal to 3 seconds, S is equal to 44 meter.